Good morning, afternoon, and evening, and welcome to the 2022 Creatine Conference. My name is Steve Krask. I'm part of the ALSCHEM team here in Atlanta, and I'm honored to give the opening remarks. We'll have 26 renowned PhDs from around the world that will be giving a talk about research studies in their specific areas of expertise regarding creatine over the next four days. The purpose of this conference is to spread the word about a molecule that's probably one of the most important molecules on the planet right behind water. After the conference, most of you will be saying, wow, I had no idea. I can't wait to share this inf information with my colleagues and friends, and I'm now compelled to learn more about creatine. So let me share you a story about my introduction to creatine. I went to college at Georgia Southern back in 1976. I was 17 years old, very naive, okay? So I got my freshman dorm room, and I went to registration to get my classes, and I found out uh, to, to register, you had to pick a major. So I looked at the list of major, at all the different majors, and then un, un, unspecified. So I looked at the top, I said, I'm gonna do pre-med. I wanna be a doctor. So I went through registration, and I got my four core classes, English, math, one of the sciences, uh, PE, and I had to take two electives. So I looked at the electives that were available, and I saw one that said biostatistics, and one that said genetics. I said, I'll take those, I'll sign up for those. Looking back on that, I should have probably not signed up for genetics and biostatistics. First day of genetics, I got my fruit flies, and we opened, up, opened them up in the lab, and I dropped them on the floor. And what happened was there's blue, red-eyed fruit flies, and there's brown-eyed fruit flies, and you can't mix them up. Mine got mixed up. I made a D in genetics. <laughs> biostatistics. I had not one, but two professors that taught biostatistics, and they taught it in the big auditorium, and uh, there was only one test during the year. It was a final exam, and it was an oral final. So for my final exam, they sit you in front of the room, give you a piece of chalk. I got a D in biostatistics. And after joining a fraternity, I decided that pre-med was probably not the best thing for me to do. So I, I got a biology degree, and uh, as, as such, I read biology textbooks. And in the textbooks, you always saw pictures of cells, OK? And inside the cell, you had this uh, ADP stuff, and you had this ATP stuff. And then creatine was a word that was written between ADP and ATP. And there were some lines doing this and some lines doing that. That was my introduction to creatine. And that's all I knew about creatine until 40 years later, when I started working for Alscale. It's at this, at this point that I, I learned that they sold a product called Creapure. I also learned that creatine is only made at a commercial level in Germany and China. Now, I can't comment on the quality of creatine from China, but I can comment on the quality of creatine from Germany. Creapure is made in the state-of-the-art GMP production facility, and it's synthesized from food and pharma-grade ingredients. So it's the best. I also started taking three grams a day as a preventative to help with the side effects of aging. At 64, I need all the help I can get. And I started learning a lot about the anti-aging benefits of creatine. I'm gonna share a little couple stories of, of what I noticed after I started taking it. I started noticing the bioenergetic aspect of it. My body had more energy, and it's not energy like you have if you drink a cup of coffee and you get that jolt. It's the energy you have when you notice that you used to chip, clip your fingernails once a month, you're now clipping them once a week. I used to get six haircuts a year. I'm now getting 10. My hair is growing faster. I, uh, the, the lady who cuts my hair says, hey, what are you putting on your hair that makes it grow so fast? I said, well, nothing. I, I'm just taking creatine monohydrate. I've got more energy, so my hair grows faster. So she started recommending it to all her clients. And uh, so um, this last time I tried to get a haircut on Thursday or Friday before the conference to look good, she didn't return my calls, so I, I think she got rich and she's doing something else because she's cutting so much hair right now. Um, you all hear a, a, metal, a mental focus and recall. As I was getting older, I, uh, I learned that um, it's good for older people to start doing a lot of puzzles and challenge your brain. So uh, one of the guys that I knew, he recommended uh, starting to play uh, a game called Sudoku. So I started playing the beginner, and then I advanced to the intermediate, and then I was playing expert. And it took me about an hour or two to do a Sudoku game. After I started taking creatine for about two months, I could now do a game in less than 12 minutes. That is mental focus. Um, it gave me better skin. 
I used to have twice as many wrinkles. Now that's gone away. And, and more importantly, uh, coming up this uh, next Sunday, it's lowered my golf score because I can hit a ball farther and I can hit a ball straighter. I also learned something else, and it's the reason I'm going to take three grams of creatine until I die. Both my grandmothers died of brain cancer. It runs in my family. So I've got a pretty good chance it's going to take me out. On October 18th, 2019, I'll never forget that day, I got a text from a gentleman who does our marketing. He goes, Steve, you guys need to build another creatine plant. And he sent me the article. It was an article from Dr. Lil Yang at UCLA talking about creatine and T cells and cancer. And it was very compelling. And I'm not going to steal any of Lily's thunder. She's given a talk on Friday. I'm not quite sure what the, uh, what the talk's going to entail. But what the study showed me was that the body uses what are called killer T cells. They seek out cells that are infected with viruses and also cancer cells. So I want to take three grams of creatine a day for the rest of my life to keep my T cells fully stoked. So if cancer comes calling, I got the best chance of beating it right out of the blocks. So circling back, uh, also as an attendee in this conference, you're going to learn these things a lot more. I shared my anti-aging stories with you. Uh, the others that are going to be giving the presentations at this conference will share their stories as well as, as uh, the research papers. The other thing I've learned is that creatine supplementation is a, a cradle to grave event. It starts with moms during pregnancy and babies being born all the way to gray-haired individuals and with suffering from depression in nursing homes. So circling back to what I said earlier, if you're not aware of creatine benefits in the human body, and you will be after this conference, the words, wow, I had no idea, and where can I learn more, will prevail. A couple new books just came out, too, that Jeff and Rick will probably be talking about uh, over the conference. Uh, with all this being said, I'll turn this over to Dr. Richard Kreider with Texas A&M, who will be the moderator for the conference. Please welcome Rick to the stage. Thank you. Welcome, everyone, to Creatine 22. Uh, this is about the fifth entity over every so the last 20, 25 years we've done a conference like this. And the purpose is to update and provide an uh, overview of the science, the state of science on creatine supplementation. And what you will learn in this conference is what started out as a supplement to enhance exercise performance and sport has now blossomed into a supplement can affect health throughout the lifespan. And so over the next few days, we'll be going into detail. Uh, all the talks are available in written, published format and nutrients. If you go to the education tab in, at the website, Creatine for Health, you can look at the detailed description of the articles the speakers will be pulling from, and then it has also been put together in a book that we'll be announcing as well. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce our MC and host for the event. This is Dr. Professor Yana Kachi from uh, the University of Chars and Prague, Czechoslovakia. Please 